we're on easy street and it feels so sweet because the world is but a treat when you're on easy street welcome to the easy street radio show hosted by rob scribner grab a cup of coffee and let's get started our videos are made possible by ranger rob poopy bags available at amazon right now hello everyone and welcome to easy street yep I, easy street you made it you're here <laughs> lucky you and today's show is a lot of questions i have a lot of questions and i'm hoping maybe you have these same questions but before we start i need to let you know that you can find easy street on good talk radio it is now on the new cutting edge tv we're on several platforms everything i talk about today is down in the description where you can find the link uh, to the article that I'm going to refer to right away. And so I'm going to start this off with an article. Now, tell me if I'm wrong, but are we not supposed to take the CDC uh, serious? Um, so... Whenever you see this video, I'll let you know today's date is December 23rd, like two days from Christmas. The magical shot that's out there, I got to watch my wording, uh, came out only a week or two ago, very, not very long ago. And it's still being dis, you know, sent out. So it's actually being given out to a lot of essential people right now, whatever, whoever's considered essential. So... <laughs> There's an article out here I want to show you, and um, I want to just have you see it. And this is coming from, uh, uh, well, from the CDC. It says, if you guys see what I'm seeing, and we're supposed to take these guys serious, the CDC reports 3,000 150 people paralyzed after that special shot that, I mean, to a point that they can't even do daily activities. Now, that's a lot of people. And so before you jump and go nuts and say, Rob, you're making a, this is from the CDC, right? CDC? Like, uh, where we're supposed to take all this serious? Or we just pretend we don't see this today, but all the other stuff is fine. But that's a lot of people, and everything has just started. You get my point? <laughs> I'm just so tired of information that... Like this is swept kind of off to the side. It's like, eh, well, let's not make a big deal about it because we really want everybody to get that special shot. And I don't know. It's it's got some issues. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna read this. Uh, I I'm, I'm gonna urge you to go to the description below and read more about it. But it definitely uh. Is a problem, and actually, it's been a day or so since this has come out, so the number could be higher. And uh, I, I just think that I need to get my mouse to work down here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we are. I'm back. So that's a lot of folks, and that's the serious. It's not like oh, you know, uh, passed out or uh, got a sore thumb or something. Paralyzed. Paralyzed. Just tie your hands together. Just start that way. Tie your hands together for a day and try to function. Okay? I would say that's something that you should take pretty serious. So, uh, anyway, I uh, I can complain and all that stuff, but it's just like, people, please put on your common sense hats. I know they're there somewhere in the closet, look down in the basement, in the garage. It's got to be there somewhere. 
but there's a few things there's a lot of things going on that you really need to put your big boy pants on and maybe your common sense hat on and start thinking for yourself and one is stop giving up our liberties for safety i know a lot of young people really aren't as adventurous as the old people. I mean, we're the kind of, we're the kids that grew up with no seatbelts, climbed trees, broke our arms, all this stuff. And uh, we're still here. We made it. I don't know how, but um, uh, really guys, you've got to <laughs> um, start figuring things out for yourself and, uh, uh, and I think the next thing I want to talk about is the stimulus package. Okay, we're back. This is kind of <laughs> informal show. Easy Street, by the way, we'd like to talk about happy things, all these other things. But this week has just been one of those really <laughs> could could this get crazier? I almost think that the new regime. Uh, coming into power is so excited and think that they really got it going that they can begin their craziness early. And unfortunately, they keep forgetting Trump's still there. So, of course, I'm sure you guys have heard a little bit about this, but this is more insane than the thing I just showed you before. And once again, I got to be careful of my wording on everything because... Uh, the new world is taking away our freedoms, and some of you guys love that. That's too bad. <laughs> In fact, that's really sad. So this new stimulus bill, you guys have been hearing all about. Woohoo! We're getting six hundred bucks, and uh, uh, and luckily Sherry and I are comfortable. We, you know, um, but there's folks out there that really need some help. So they passed this crazy uh, spending bill for the CDC help. And, oh, my gosh, I'll just skip over some of these expenses. But just remember, at the bottom of the line, Americans get $600. In fact, the people that are unemployed will be getting uh, like $300 on top of their unemployment will make more money than the folks that are just getting a direct stimulus check. Uh, because their unemployment's probably ran out. So what they're saying in here, this is from uh, Brett Bart, um, billions going to foreign aid, foreign aid, yeah, and <laughs> gender programs in Pakistan, uh, a ship refurbishment in another country. Oh, my gosh. Um, they're actually even sending um, I, this... It's kind of far away for me to see. Um, here's a list of some of the things here. I don't know if you can see it very well. I don't know if this will go lo larger or not. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little better for you guys. So some of the things that they're spending money on is uh, with Vietnam. Um, I know that they're sending <clears throat> millions of dollars to Jordan to build a wall to keep uh, uh, folks from immigrating into their country. We're paying for that. We're giving them money to build a wall. Do you get the craziness in that? We have our own wall. We can't even build because, oh, we can't have, we need open borders. To have a wall is racist and all that kind of stuff. Like, come on. <laughs> They're spending money on uh, a whole lot of money in Latin America democracy programs throughout Latin America where we're trying to work on socialism here. And by the way, I want to give credit. What really got me going on this, I was watching the John Smith show, which happens to be on Good Talk Radio and happens to be on uh, uh, Cutting Edge TV. And he was talking about all this. And I said, John, after the show was over, please show me these articles. I've got I, my wife didn't even believe me about what they're doing with the stimulus bill, and uh, it sounds like they're going to. Uh, 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 Trump hasn't signed this, and he's he could do what's called a pocket veto, 
which uh, can uh, make them uh, modify it and not kill the bill. Anyway, uh, and, you know, he, Trump's probably our last person in there defending us, but this is incredibly crazy. This stimulus bill isn't helping uh, folks from the uh, CV stuff. It's got like a little chunk change to us, but it's money's going everywhere but over our borders to other countries. Is this what we want? Is this what you guys voted for? Is is this the new Biden way? Um, is this is that? I mean, did you dis, did you guys really hate that guy and the president so bad that you would agree to this? I sound like you need to have a personal relationship with our president. But this is this insane. And I'm asking you guys, what are you thinking? And then I got to ask you guys that are in cities, why are you putting the same leaders <laughs> in that are destroying your cities? Why? This is, this whole show is why. I can try to say what, you know, how to fix it other than vote for someone better. But <laughs> why are you destroying this place? Why federal ways? Why is you want to destroy it? City wise, you want to destroy it only for this great reset. And yes, I do want to talk about this great reset thing. It has to do with money. Well, unfortunately, if you guys think this great reset is going to be wonderful, where we kill all these small businesses, only the big businesses live. Do you realize how many people you put out of work? Do you realize how many families you destroyed because you support all this? These businesses, that's a bread and butter. That but money they make pay for other employees. That money they make pay taxes to pay for all your crazy programs in this in the city. You destroyed them. The restaurants, all of them, they're gone. They're going away, struggling, barely hanging on. And if they do hang on, they got to borrow money and go in debt just so hopefully they can keep their doors open. But no, we all support all this stuff. And yet we're getting sicker. And the vaccine's coming. Ooh, I said the word. And uh, we still have to wear masks. We still have to uh, social distance. We still have to stay in lockdowns. Why in the heck? Are we taking this thing if our lives are not better? And then I showed you at the beginning of the show that it's not thoroughly tested and over 3,100 people are paralyzed. And it's just started. But let's get the money. So it was great set. Here's what. So our I saw a great explanation of this yesterday. I was watching. Um. Uh, Johnny Bravo, and uh, he had a great guest from Phoenix, and uh, she explained how you know our money is a debt thing. It's in, it's like pretend money, but the feds have given it a value, and that value is dropping, <clears throat> and is getting and we're getting the debt so bad because of bills I just showed you, along with thousands of other things that we're doing, uh, that causes inflation, makes our our dollar less valuable, which is another problem against other countries because they uh, base everything off the American dollar. <clears throat> so those are called, that's fake money. That's money based off of debt. And it's based off of nothing. So what a lot of people have been doing, including myself, is every month I've been buying gold and silver. What is so special about gold and silver? If I take a silver coin, real silver, an ounce of silver, or gold, anywhere, not just the United States, but if I take a do American dollar anywhere, not necessarily very valuable <clears throat> and getting worse. But if you take a silver coin, an ounce of gold, go to any country, any of them, it's got value. 
It's called an asset. It's something tangible and recognized throughout the world. And assets would be things like people's houses and things like that. And that's not necessarily the best asset pretty soon. Most of us, that's where we make our money. Our investment is our asset. It would be our house. And we get a hope our house appraises higher and higher. And when we sell it, we can get a better house or more property or whatever we do. But um, we have to be careful. Uh, the house, it won't, when things hit, inventory is not going to be a problem because in, um, in the depression before, there was plenty of housing, but everybody got lost their house because houses, if they got a mortgage, are really owned by the banks. And so, and they are heartless. There is no empathy. They will let you go out on the street. And uh, anyway, uh, so it doesn't matter what our inventory is, but eventually, uh, even if prices, houses go up and stuff like that, if you don't have a job, you can't pay for them. If you can't pay for them, the bank will take them back. Right now, we put a Band-Aid on it and have been holding a lot of people back and they've been able to not pay in their mortgages and stuff, but we can only do that for so long. We keep kicking the can down the, uh, down the street. So uh, <laughs> we got some problems, but you have time. You're running, it's getting tighter and tighter. One is you got to get out of debt the best you can. You got to really put a pinch on all your playing all the little special things you do, eating out, stuff like that, and pay down any debt you can. It may be too late for that. But, uh, uh, but yeah, the job market thing is going, the, you, you know, all they're focusing on is this, even the stock market. It's all the big boys. It's going to be your Walmarts. It's going to be your uh, Amazons and all the big companies in there. But the little ones, they don't give a crap if they go under because they're putting all the um, all their faith into the big companies and box stores. And we just can't survive like that. Um, and then they want to do this great reset because the, the money situation is so bad that they uh, this reset is what they want to do and probably go to some kind of digital money, crypto, something like that. And that's where if you have those assets of gold and silver, because they're holding that down, they're holding it back. But if this reset happens, your assets are going to go crazy and you'll be sitting pretty after the reset. And if you own your own home, you'll be a little more protected from the government because after that, all of us are going to be giving up our homes and property and we'll be renting from the government for what we have today. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. All right, guys, for my third thing I wanted to talk to you about today, and I've talked about this before, is food. Um, it's, an, it's a new day, a new age coming up. And if you watch the Ranger Rob Country Living shows that we do, we're really trying to help and motivate people and i need to once again it doesn't mean you have to have acreage it doesn't mean you have to have a bunch of property it doesn't mean you have to live out in the tulies maybe you still live close to the city but you have a, a fairly good sized lot <laughs> well hopefully you have started to figure out that food is an issue and it looks like it's going to become an issue again and it could, yeah, also our toilet papers and things like that, the stupid things that are going to start being hard to get. <clears throat> so you have two choices with food. Is One is to learn how to preserve food. Um, and another is learning how to grow some of your food. Now, if you live in the cities and things like that, um, I know that throughout all the different places where people live, there's things like uh, farmer's markets and stuff like that. <clears throat> and you go in there and there's some delicious food, beautiful tomatoes and green beans and and tons of it. And you look at it, it's like, oh, I wish I could take a box full of green beans home because I love fresh green beans. Well, I think you need to change your mindset 
and start thinking, you better take that case of green bean home. And of course, you go. Um, the biggest problem you have is what the heck you're going to do with a bunch of fresh green beans? You're going to go to waste. That's where you need to change. That's where we all need to change. I'm changing. We're learning how to do it. And we even took it farther than most people. You need to learn how to uh, do canning. That's one thing. Two, learn how to utilize your freezer. And if anything, go buy a little freezer, maybe a little five to seven uh, cubic foot freezer. You can still get those. Hard to get, but you can get them. I've got one. I've got three, actually. <laughs> um, and uh, when it comes to meats and stuff like that, buy it when you can and buy more than you normally need just each time and put it in the freezer. <clears throat> but when it comes to um, vegetables and stuff like that, first of all, buy your favorite food. Don't buy something you don't like to eat. And yes, a lot of people say, well, go out and get some of those uh trail mixes and all that stuff. Well, that stuff's expensive. But, you know, farmer's market, if you buy more than a pound, maybe a, a case of things, you'll get a good discount. You'll get your food really cheap. And take it home and learn how to preserve it. Now, I took it even farther. Sherry and I just bought what's called a, a, a freeze dryer. So uh, we're really getting serious about this. In our pantry, we're well into six months of food. But we want it to be even better. But we want our food to be yummy. And I don't necessarily like canning. Canning is an uh, interesting process. But I, um, when you do freeze drying, I can take those same green beans, freeze dry them, put them in jars, and all I have to do is vacuum seal the jars instead of the, the liquids and all that stuff. I'll still do the other kind of canning. But the point being is... Uh, you need to start looking at your food differently because there's going to come a time that you might need help and there may not be help to be had. Wow, I can't believe that's a lot to say. Um, for example, I, I am very, um, I like to help my neighbors or help my family and stuff, but it'll come to a point where some people will come to my gate and I'm going to say, sorry, I have nothing for you. I've, I've made my priorities. It's going to be my family members, my wife, and our pets. That's it. No matter what kind of sob story I hear, because I'm not going to sacrifice my family to, um, to uh, a family that didn't prepare. Which right now sounds, ah, oh, no big deal. We don't have to prepare. You don't feel the effects. But if it gets tough enough, um, you're going to regret every time, every second that you've ignored this problem. And the same thing goes for your pets. You have got to make sure that they have backup food too. If you really love your pets, because if you don't feed your pets, you're going to have to eat your pets. <laughs> I know it sounds terrible, doesn't it? Hey, read the one second, uh, a second after book. You know what I'm talking about. So anyway, guys, we need to start getting a little bit more serious here. We also, we're going to have to start fighting back one way or another. We can either do it through our wallets physically. We can not go places that they want us to go. We can not cooperate. There's a lot of things going on. And the best way to hurt some of these people is not physically. Get them through their wallets. Stop going to the Walmarts. Go to the little stores. Um, quit buying so much from Amazon. Get them in their wallets. I mean, if money gets as tight as it is, uh, even Amazon is going to feel the pain. But the only thing is, to, to make the pain go away, they just lay people off and make more people unemployed and they'll survive. And then Wall Street's taking good care of them, too. It's really sad for this small elite amount of people. This reset, by the way, the people that are in power now, they just want to do it to stay in power. In fact, they want more power. They have a thing that we don't have. One is money. Well, two things, actually. And empathy. 
they do not care what they're going to do to us, us the people on the ground. They are just so entrenched in money that they don't even understand what's what they're doing to people. Well, they may even understand it, but they don't care. So who's going to care about you? Well, one is God, but two, you need to take care of yourself. You can't just huddle up in a ball and go, poor me. Even as Christians and all these people that you guys are not liking because we're survivors and we're happy people, we do not sit back and say, oh my gosh, help me, help me government. We are just the opposite. We actually embrace everybody around us. That's our that's our weakness in a way, but it's actually our strongest thing. It's called love. But the other thing is we're go-getters. We take action. Even our faith tells us take action. And while we're doing a positive thing to make take action, we can get help from our faith. And when things really get bad, that's when the glory shows up. But not for the ones that just crawl up in the corner and say, poor me, poor me. If you want to call us conservatives, Bible thumpers, or whatever, we are not people to say, I'm just going to sit here and have God save me. It's like, no, I'm going to do his bidding as far as telling you about him. But the other part is I've got to take action. I know what's happening. I have a book to read that tells me exactly what's going on, why this is happening, and where it's going to end up. So I prepare. We prepare. We get things uh, in order. We put a little food away as much as we can, get ready for some lumps and bumps. And when things really get hairy, then we put on our shields. You guys know what I'm talking about. We have our shields on already, <clears throat> but we don't need them that much right now. <clears throat> but we will. All of us will. And then we're going to watch a lot of people that we care about that don't care for themselves. <clears throat> Do not have empathy. Believe in man beliefs are going to be in pain and anguish. <clears throat> and you're going to have a heavy heart about that. But uh, all of this will make sense eventually. Good, bad, or indifferent. And we all know where we're going after this. But we need to tell people <clears throat> This is not a hard process to, uh, to handle, to, to correct the problem. Prep. Learn how to preserve, which is part of a new program we're doing on the Ranger Rob Country Living Show. And we need to learn how to, uh, well, preserving is really the biggest thing right now. Learn how to preserve. <clears throat> and then produce. Try to create a garden. Try to learn how to grow a few things. You can do it on your little property, big properties. You can do even microgreens in your house and closet. All of us need to change the way we do business. We cannot keep thinking the grocery store is going to be full every day. Because it's all part of a transportation system that is going, going amok people that produce the products, distribute it. That, pro that process is broken. Transportation could get broken very easily if a lot of people got sick or we started blocking our different borders. Those two things will cripple our stores. We could have all the food in the world and farmers could make plenty of food, but if it doesn't get to the distribution and doesn't get transferred to the different locations, different regions of our country could really be hurting on food. So why not start learning how to stock up and learn how to preserve? 
preserving is the key because you can get food now and you can still get good deals on bulk food. Just learn how to store it for long periods of time. Not hard to learn. Just get on YouTube and look up how to store potatoes, how to store green beans, how to store flour and sugar. Not hard. It's right there. You have the instruction books right in front of you. There's people there. There's a video about every subject that you can think of when it comes to preserving food. You got a dehydrator? Oh, my gosh. That's as good as a uh, um, freeze dryer. <clears throat> Learn how to use that thing. Get it out of the darn closet and start using it. You'd be amazed what you do. Go buy a couple of big, giant cans of, I just saw this the other day, giant cans of peaches. And throw those puppies in a dehydrator. <laughs> what a treat. And once you do that, they'll last forever. Oh, my gosh. Yum. So, anyway, I hope this show was to enlighten your thoughts of changing your paradigm. That this great reset, you could come out a winner if you're ready for it. Our money might look different. It may not even call it, be called a dollar anymore, like crypto change or whatever. But do buy some assets like gold and silver, tradable assets that are recognized everywhere. You can take a silver coin and go to Canada. They recognize it. You can go to Mexico. They recognize it. You can go to Germany. They recognize it. You can go to Japan. They recognize it. Give them a dollar and they'll say, uh, what do you expect to do with that piece of paper? It's like, oh, looks like you got a wallet full of toilet paper. <laughs> that's how you're going to get your toilet paper in the future. <laughs> All that cash that's useless anymore. It's coming. Mark my words. Maybe you'll see this video three years from now and go, oh, my gosh, he kind of he's kind of right. So anyway, guys, I wish everybody a really good day. I hope everybody uh, gets something out of this. Maybe makes you think a little bit that maybe I should learn how to preserve. And uh, that's really my biggest message out of this whole thing. And the other thing is we got some rough times coming and we got a lot of wasted money going on and we have a lot of corruption and greed going on in there. And it's not just one side. It's all of them. Because uh, like some of those things we were reading in the package, one of them was done by Lindsey Graham, which is a Republican. They all have their little pet peeves of things that they uh, are being pushed on by lobbyists and uh, wasting our money. So anyways, please be safe. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share videos all over the whole wide world. Please leave a comment below. Have a great day. Be safe. Learn to preserve. Please. Talk to you later, guys. Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.